Now I'd like to give you a tour of the hardware and controls of the Baker DX unit. So on the far left we have the push to test button which is used to initiate and sustain um, the different tests that we perform with the Baker DX, including RLC, DC testing, and surge testing. Uh, below the push to test button we have a USB interface which is used to, remove, uh, to move data from the, the Baker DX uh, to your laptop computer which um, we'll run the Surveyor DX software to allow for analysis and reporting. Um, of course, we have the display, which also doubles as a touch screen uh, interface for control of the various functions of the tester. Um, at the right, we have a voltage control knob, which can be used to increase and decrease voltage uh, for the DC and surge testing options. Um, here we have an e-stop, an equipment stop, which is used to secure power um, from the high voltage leads during any time uh, that you're in the process of testing. Uh, to reset it, you simply twist the knob to reset it. Below the e-stop, we have the RLC connector, which is used to connect the uh, low voltage resistance inductance capacitance measurement clips. This is a Kelvin bridge um, circuit and the amphenol connector connects to the directly to the RLC connector there. On the far right we have the high voltage leads each have an LED which indicates when the high voltage leads individually are, are energized. During DC testing a three phase all three will be energized. During single phase testing just two and during surge test each lead will be uh, energized independently. And of course we have a ground lead here at the bottom. Now we'll take a look at the back of the Baker DX. Um, at the bottom left hand corner we have the uh, power cord connector. This is your standard uh, power cord that came with your DX plugs in there. Um, and then of course that plugs into the wall to energize the unit. Above that we have the on off switch which also acts as an um, overcurrent protection uh, for the unit. Next we have the E stop and safety lights connector. Um, this will allow you to connect a uh, remote uh, e-stop away from the tester uh, as well as some high visibility lights that make it um, very obvious that there's testing going on in the vicinity. Uh, flashing red light when testing is going on and a solid green light when testing is secured. Uh, next we have the uh, foot switch connector. The foot switch connector is used um, to in, in place of the push to test button. Um, just as a convenient means of starting uh, testing without having to push the, the button on the front panel. Uh, this is very helpful when you're doing armature testing or repetitive testing. Okay, and below the foot switch connector we have the power pack interface connector. Um, this, uh, if your DX comes with an optional power pack, uh, it'll also come with this uh, interface cable which will allow it to communicate properly uh, with the um, uh, power pack. Now this is a male and female connector and the female is what connects into this uh, this side here. And then this part would connect uh, to the power pack below, beneath it. Um, one other, a couple of things to note on the back. There, we have a ground connection here on the back, connects it uh, to solid chassis ground. So if you have an ungrounded distribution system and you need to ground your uh, Baker DX, that post is provided for that, for that reason. Um, additionally, um, we have the uh, product model and serial number label here. If you call in for tech support, uh, this information would be very helpful uh, to the tech support agent.